All right, in this video, we're going to take our files that were created when we ran Busco, and we're going to use a Python code to assemble them into one graph. So after we run Busco on each of our files, uh, it gives us this short summary.txt file. So what we're going to do is put all these files into one directory. They're already in one directory, but let's do this again for the sake of this video. So we're going to go ahead and make a directory. We'll call it my underscore summaries underscore three. And then we're going to um, copy all of these files, star.txt, into that directory. Okay, so now for CD to my summaries three, we ls, we see all of our files here. Next, we're going to run the Python script to put these into a, to generate a um, R code that will create our plot. So to do that, we're going to use this code here, and then just change it to three. This is the Python code. This is the path to R folder that we just made. And as you can see, it's being made and it's generated the R code. After that, we're going to create a new folder here on the desktop. Rename it R plot. So then we're going to go to FileZilla and we're going to go to our directory and our R file here we just made. We're going to go ahead and copy that over to that folder we just created. Let's see if we can find it here. There it is. So we'll copy this file that was just created. Okay, and now it's successfully been transferred. So then we'll go ahead and open it up with our studio. Okay, and then um, we're gonna need to replace this line here on number 18. To do that, we're going to want to use uh, this script here. Right here, so a script similar to this. Or, where is it? Here we go. Scripts and much of this. And we're just going to change these two. going to change that to uh, r underscore plot. And okay, and then I think if we go ahead and run this, it should work. this again. Okay. 
Okay, cool. So then once it works, you have your PNG, .png file that's been created here. All right, and that's it. Just be careful on this line that we just replaced up here. Right here, you want that's not it. you want this to be the name of the folder, and then this will be the name of the file that you would like to call it. All right, sorry, a little confusing, but yeah. Anyways, cool. That's how to do it. Thanks.